cool. Thanks so much for joining. I'm Brian Nelson Palmer, and I wanted to share the 13 best alternatives to checking social media on your phone. This is something that uh, comes up a lot in all of the workshops that I give about the value of your time. And I ask people, what's the biggest time waster or the time stuck? And they say, it's social media, checking social media. And one of the things that's kind of, I, I fully understand this because I've been sucked in for years and I totally understand that. And one of the things about it is you can almost equate it to, uh, in, my, in my notes about why you should switch, just a couple things to share. And I'll send this to you. You'll have the recording, but then you'll also get this. If you're signed up for the email list, you'll also get this so you can click on these links and check it out. But uh, checking social media, is, it's kind of an obsessive or an addictive behavior that people kind of do involuntarily. So the same way that for smokers, instead of just, you know, only about 10% of the people can actually just like straight up quit smoking and just stop. So instead with social media, it's a, an obsessive and addictive behavior. So what we do instead is we give you some alternatives. So that's what these alternatives are designed to get you to not check social media when you have a moment or you pull out your phone, not going to social media media and that slowly breaks that path over time and it makes it much easier to lay off social media if you do it this way so and the other thing that's interesting about social media is that social media is it's fake it's not real it's a one-way communication and that one-way communication can cause loneliness because you are isolated if you're interacting with people if you're sending text messages if you're communicating in two-way communication that feeds the the soul from the loneliness perspective. But if you're just looking on social media, even though you feel like you have a connection to someone, all you're really getting is the prepared message or whatever it is they wanted to share. And it's one way and it's not necessarily engaging. So that's where some of the loneliness comes in. And there's a whole bit of uh, re research on that. So what do you do with your social media? I'm going to tell you 13 alternatives, but what do you do with it if you have it now? What I'd say is First, delete the apps from your phone and use your phone browser instead. So for example, I have on my phone, I don't have Instagram or Facebook or uh, LinkedIn. So I actually have, uh, it's just a, I use the browser to access those things. And so I still have the ability to get in there and see the notes, I can look through it, but by using the browser, it's not as good of an experience. So that's how one of the things that I've done. And then the other thing is definitely each, whether it's Android or iOS or whatever it is, you, your phone has an operating system. Your phone will allow you to set limits in the operating system on how long you, you can spend on Facebook. So if I set that on Facebook, my phone is smart and it applies it to the browser, facebook.com. And it also applies to the to the app and it tracks it that way. So I, I have mine set for 15 minutes every day. If I go more than 15 minutes, my phone starts alerting me, hey, you're still on here. So that's what you can do with the social media that you have now. And then here's the 13 things you can do instead. First, instead of checking social media, you can look back on the photos that are on your phone. Everybody's got these big uh, albums with all the great photos that phones take these days. So scroll back. Go back a year or two or three, find, you know, scroll back through photos and remember the, the cool thing about that is you are a part of that memory. So instead of social media where you're looking at somebody else's, these are your memories. You are involved in it. And so that feeds the soul even more. If you're an iPhone user, they also have the for you section of the album. And I really like that one because it, I, I don't know how it works on Android, but for iPhone, it actually takes it will notice all of the photos from this time you were in this one geographic location. So far, like you say, for example, you took a trip to the, the beach or something. It will put an album together set to music of the beach. And so instead of just scrolling through the photos, you can actually watch this 30 second video of your own photos and the memories that you have. And that's really cool. And then if you want to take it another level, share that video with people so that they can watch it too. If there's somebody of who's comes up in that uh, video a lot, share it with them and then text with them and get engaging. That's much more rewarding if you can. So engage with folks. And then if you're really a nerd like I am, you can also take a second and take act add actual photos to each person's contact picture uh, so that you have. So if you don't already have this, when you're texting people, will you see their photo too? So that's in the 13 things. That's the first thing is look at photos. 
Uh, second thing, oh, and I see Kim just came in. Nikki's just signing on. So I, I'll be sending this out. You'll get a recording of this. I'm recording this. So I'll, I'll follow up with you and you'll get the recording so you can catch up if there's any part that you missed or you want to review some of what I'm showing you now later. You'll be able to see this. Uh, so the second thing you can do instead of uh, checking social media on your phone is send love out into the world. And what I mean by that is you can send a text to someone or honestly, you could even record and send a video message to a friend. It's totally different when they see your face and you're talking to them for 30 seconds instead of just sending a text message. That's really cool too. So you can send out love out into the world by sending a video to a friend you haven't talked with for a little while. Or if you, if you track gratitude, you can um, add one to two items to a gratitude note of things you're grateful for, for the love that's out in the world for you. Uh, or the, my last one, number C here is scroll to the bottom of your list of text messages. I really like this one. Who are the people that you haven't talked with in a while? It's been a bit. Scroll down, scroll all the way down, go down to the bottom. You've got a list, your list of messages in your phone is gonna be long from all the text messages you sent. Go back six months and find somebody you haven't texted with in six months and send them a note. Or like I said in that first one, send them a video and say, hey, we haven't talked in a while. How are you doing? Instead of checking social media, that's a great alternative. And it's much more rewarding because it's two-way communication. You engage with them. Third thing you could do if you're a music head like me, you could make a playlist or check out new music. We've got those on, on Spotify or different places. Uh, so it's easy to find new music, but man, finding new music is fun and it really feeds the soul. So instead of social media, find, find music because that's for you. Uh, same thing with podcasts. Number four would be checking out podcasts. You can listen to a podcast or curate your podcast subscriptions. For me, I was going through the other day and I had a whole bunch that I subscribed to that I wasn't listening to really, or I had kind of lost interest in. So cleaning that out, that's one thing you can do when you pull out your phone for a second, instead of checking social media, curate your podcast or check out a podcast. Um, reading is the thing that I love. Instead of pulling out your phone and checking social media, you can read The Morning Brew. The Morning Brew is a newsletter. I've got the link for you here and I'll send that to you. And that's, there's, it's a five minute fun read of the news. It's designed to be read just in the time you drink your morning brew, your morning cup of coffee. So it's a quick five minute read, but it keeps you in touch with what's going on in the world. So instead of getting people's curated versions in their Instagram feed or their Facebook feed, you could get it from a news source that does the does the research on that. So it's a quick read and it's really fun. Uh, also, if you're a reader like I am, I use Goodreads to track all my, find my next book and the books that I'm reading. Last year in the, in the reading challenge, I found out I read 54 books last year, which was exciting. I was going, one a week was my stretch goal and I, I pulled it off plus two, which was exciting. So Goodreads is the way I track all of that. And the reason I do that is because it's a, it's a neutral platform where you can organize your reads. It's not just only your Amazon books or only your books from the library or only your books from friends that you own, but it's actually Actually, all of them in one place, just keep them all in that place. And I really like Goodreads. It's a great way to find books too. So number five, get into reading, organize your reading and what you're going to read. Number six, instead of looking at social media, you can unsubscribe from nuisance email lists. Uh, there's so many email lists that I'm on that I either didn't sign up for or don't really serve me anymore. So unsubscribe from those. There's a couple from stores that I signed up for because you get a 10% discount or something. So I signed up for their email list. I got the 10% discount. I've been getting emails them from, from them for two years and I've never looked at them. So why am I on this email? Unsubscribe from those instead of checking social media. I know that seems, it, social media seems sexier than that, but it, that's going to help you. And this is about benefiting you, not necessarily reading, checking out everybody else's social media. Number seven, learn something. Instead of checking social media, you could take a quick lesson. Duolingo is a free app you can use to learn another language. I know there's a lot of people who say they would love to learn another language. Imagine if you spent the time you spend on social media, but doing lessons on Duolingo. You'd have another language. In the, in the span of a year, you'd be conversational in another language. So totally try it. Or if you want to brush up on your geography skills or art history or a foreign language or something, there's brainscape, there's other things you can do to learn something. Number eight, you can quiet your mind by doing other apps that quiet your mind, right? So what I mean by that when I say quiet your mind 
is coloring apps or games which don't engage people or words. Here's what I mean when I say that. You have Candy Crush or Tetris, right? These are shapes. Your brain works a little differently when it's looking at shapes or uh, like logic puzzles or that kind of thing that don't involve you thinking in words. So moving shapes around, colors, uh, puzzle pieces going into place, those are all apps that don't engage your brain. They help quiet your mind. So that's really cool. And so that means there's nothing with a person or words in it, right? So word games are out. That doesn't quite do the same thing. And you also know first-person shooter games. If you're a person going after another person, then it's, then it's not the same as quieting your mind. So quieting your mind means no people and no words. Those are examples there. Uh, number nine, you can do uh, recipes for your health. You know, a lot of people are like, gosh, I wish I had time to, to do, to eat healthier, to try something new. There's all these, you can Google these, you wanna try something. Here's what you could do instead of checking social media. You could find one new healthy recipe that people are raving about online. And then you can add all those groceries you would need to that to your grocery list and save it. Imagine how different it would be if, if you were doing that instead of checking social media. So totally check that out. The recipe thing is, is so much fun. And there's so many good snacks and other things too. So look into healthy foods. Foods is a great one. Number 10, plan your next adventure. Instead of checking social media, why don't you find date night ideas and write them down? Uh, if you've got you know, your next date night with your significant other or uh, time out with friends, if you're looking for cool things to do, start adding to your list of cool things you want to do, your adventure list, and write them down. Uh, find free attractions in your city. I love this one going on and typing, you know, whatever city name, free tours or free activities or stuff like that. There's blog posts written to this. And there's so many things you can do for free that are going to be experiences for you. So go for that. And my other favorite one, by the way, if you're a daydreamer like I am sometimes, is uh, Kayak Explorer. The link's going to be right there for you when I send this to you. But Kayak Explorer is where you can click this and you can put in your home location and Kayak will tell you how much it costs to fly to all of these different people. So if you like adventure like I do and you want to try something, go instead of checking social media, go look at how much it would cost. What are the flight prices to different places? You might find your next adventure might be three states away and only $79. And that would be so cool if you could do that, right? So that's that's how you kayak will let you know. And so you can just save that on your phone and go check that instead. Love that. Number 11, check your to-do list. I know this sounds real nerdy and there is nothing sexy about this. Uh, many people will hear this and just think, ah, I'd rather go check social media. <laughs> but But here's the thing. If you have a free moment, sometimes when people are unoccupied for that free moment, they have a tendency to pull out their phone and just read it and, or check into it. And instead of doing that, what if you check your to-do list instead? There's a, there's a thing you can do, productivity people talk about this, where when you finish an activity, instead of going to get distracted, what if you pause, you take a breath, and then you say, okay, what's next? And you pull out your to-do list. You might find out that there's actually some really important things that are gonna be really good for you. So assuming you're the type of person that has the to-do list or you've got things, take a moment and think about what's next and look at your to-do list and see what that might be. Like for me, I just did that before this. I need to install a rack on the back of a closet. So instead of pulling out social media and looking at that, I need to go install this tie rack on the back of, a, of the door in a closet. So I'm going to go do that when I have a free moment. And that'll only take five minutes. So instead of checking social media, I'm going to go install that rack. Uh, number 12, the 12th alternative is gifts. I love this one because gifts bring people such joy and it brings me such joy. And so there's a few things you can do. The first is inevitably with gifts, you, if you don't have a gift list for yourself already, you can either go on Amazon and create a, a list in Amazon, or you can uh, create a, a, a Google Doc or something where you save all of your uh, gift ideas for yourself, and you can find things for yourself. My other favorite one is to scroll through and find things for other people, for my parents, for my siblings, for my sister, for, for cousins or other people that I'm going to see. If you can send them even little gifts, they don't have to be expensive. You can find little gifts for five bucks, 10 bucks online, but those little gifts mean a lot to folks. And so that act of giving gifts is really cool. I like that one a lot. So you can create a wish list on Amazon for your next gifts. You can plan upcoming gifts. 
And my, here's another one, by the way, if you got five minutes to kill, the greetingcardshop.com is a website that allows you to actually go online and buy cards and fill them out like they're from yourself. And the greeting card shop, I think it's $2.50 or something the last time I looked, and then 50 cents for postage. So it might be three bucks, but they will actually, you can fill in text. So you can type a custom message. You can even put a picture of yourself in the card, and then they will print the card, custom print your card, and drop it in the physical mail to someone. How cool is that? That's, I love that. So there's an alternative. Look into gifts or sending people, folks. And then 13, another one, the 13th idea, instead of checking all, uh, social media on your phone, do things now that will save you time later. And here's what I mean by that. You can set up bills for auto pay, or here's a perfect example. In DC, they have, in the Metro system, they have these card readers where you have this refillable card that you can fill. Uh, and, and so you would go up to this machine, add money on this card, and then use that to get in and out of the fare gates. Well, if in this case, instead of doing, I could take five minutes, go on the website, set up the auto pay for my fare card. And instead of having to go to the, to the machine and add money every time in some kind of increment, I could set up auto pay that will automatically bill my credit card 20 bucks. Every time my card gets low, it would just fill it up and fill it up again. And that will allow me to never have to visit that again. So if it's something that'll save you time later that you could do, look into some of those things because it might take a few minutes now, but if it pays dividends with more time later, love those. So those are my 13 options, my 13 alternatives. If you thought this was interesting, please do you know send me a note or reply to the email that you get with this whatever it is, because this is the, these lessons that I'm doing here, I really want to do more with the people who subscribe to the email list and my, my folks there. So I have the podcast, which is certainly really interesting stuff. But in this case, I really like doing these engaging lessons with you guys. So I'm going to stop the recording now, chat a little bit, and then we'll keep this pretty short here. But thank you guys very much. Thanks for checking it out. And